how to style your world ample world without a single line of CSS. Yes, it's possible. Your world could look like this or this or even this without a single line of coding. And here's how. First of all, we're going to set a theme in the global styling section. So I'm going to go to styling here and simply select a theme from the drop down. Remember to click save changes or you can try a theme on for size. If you click this palette, you can try different themes just to see what they look like. There are dozens of themes that you can have a play with. So have a look and see what is going to be appropriate for your world. This is a Star Trek theme. I really like it. Once you're done, remember to click save changes to make sure that the save sticks. But maybe you want to go a step further than just one of our base themes. They say an image is worth a thousand words and a great way to stamp your personality onto your world and world anvil is by using default images like the global cover image and the page background. Most of these combine with most of our visual themes with no problems at all. To add your own global cover images or your own background images, start by uploading your images. You can do that either by clicking this green button and then the blue button and drag and drop your images into here, or you can go to the images interface right here and drag your images into this section. Of course, remember that you can always edit the name tags information about your image here as well. So if you've uploaded it and it has a, a weird or spaghetti like name, you can always change that here. So you can find it more easily in the drop down. We're going to go to back to styling. That's this palette here and simply choose a world cover from the drop down. A world cover is what appears at the top of your world homepage. So that would be the uh, uh, cover that appears here. Your global cover is the default cover for all of your articles if you don't specify a different cover. So this will go at the top of all of your articles. The recommended ratio for both article covers and world covers is 4 to 1 or 1920 by 480 pixels. The recommended file type is WebP or JPEG. And yes, those, that information will be in the description of this video as well. For background images, it's exactly the same process. You need to upload them using either the blue button or the images and categories interface. And then you need to go back to styling and select them from the drop down under page background. This article, for example, uh, is using the Elven Forest theme, but instead of the leaves on the background, I've replaced it with a tiled image. Now this image is, I believe, 300 by 300 pixels and it tiles so that it looks like a single image that goes all the way down. Easy peasy, right? Experiment with image sizes and your own images to see what's going to work best for your world. Background images are a really quick and easy way of customizing a theme to your own particular flavor. If you want to go further, you can change the size and color of your fonts for the base text as well. And here's how you do that. I'm going to go back to styling. And if you scroll down here on the first page, you can see base font size and base font color. For font color, you can see there's a whole color picker here. You can use the RGB codes as well. It's entirely up to you. For font size, play around and see what is going to work for you. And finally, white labeling. White labeling is a Sage feature that removes most of the world anvil branding from your world. Uh, if you enable this, a lot of the world anvil strips in your world, the world anvil branding on your maps, that will disappear. Uh, and it's as simple as clicking this button. You can see I've just disabled it and I've just enabled it again. If you want to go even further and for example, instead of typing in www.worldanvil forward slash w forward slash, you can have your own URL for your world. How's that for styling and branding? So for example, if you go to wantedhero.com, it will take you here to this world anvil world. And uh, by the way, this is an award-winning world anvil world, just saying. So if you're interested in that, you can find more information about that on the professional portal. If that is available to you, you will be able to find it here 
in the drop down and it's going to be bright green. You can go in there to get lots of information, promotional opportunities as well, and uh, all sorts of help and advice. So guys, that is how to start your World Anvil world without using a lick of CSS. There is a huge amount that you can do with images and the base themes. If you want more tutorials, let me know what they are. And in the meantime, grab your hammer and go world build.